One of the tools that's very important to software engineering in general and software development is configuration management tools. Now in previous courses you have worked with a tool called Git. Git is essentially a tool that has a repository that lives somewhere on a server somewhere, a working directory which is local to your given machine, and a staging area which is also local to your given machine and you can essentially check out code, commit code, push code up to the server as you were doing your configuration management exercises. Now in your previous experiences you've most likely worked with a GUI based tool, most likely in a Windows environment. This tutorial is going to show you how you can use a tool called Git GUI, which is part of the Git tool under Linux in order to do some of the same types of operations. This is not going to be a complete demonstration of all the capabilities of Git. It's not going to be a complete tutorial on everything that Git GUI can do, but it's intended to show you the basics on how to get started using the Git GUI tool to essentially check out code, make changes, push it back up to the server where others have access to it. Merging and branching and some of those topics are kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial. But they are all things that can be done with this tool set that you're going to be shown. So let's get started. So to begin with, we want to start the Get GUI tool up. Now the Get GUI tool is somewhat simple and pretty straightforward in terms of its structure and layout. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of complexity to what it has. And what we want to do is we're going to start by cloning an existing repository. So right now up on the server there is a repository and I want to bring that back down into my environment. Essentially taking and cloning the project or going through this checkout operation right here. So my source location in my particular case, I'm going to grab it here from one of the repositories I have, is on the server github.com. It's a project that I've put together for demonstrating this. And what I want to do is I want to clone it into a given target directory. Now the target directory I'm going to place is development, and I am going to call this demo. working directory like so. So demo working directory is where the code is going to be placed in the folder development. So I click OK. That sets things up in here. I want to do a full clone, basically getting everything from my server back to me. So I'll click on clone and it's going to ask me a couple of times for my username and information. So I'm going to place in my username for GitHub and my password once twice three times. There are ways around this having to enter my credentials three times um, using tokens and some other things. Those are a little bit more advanced setup than I want to get through in this basic tutorial right here. So I now have this file or folder cloned. What I can do is I can explore the working copy and I can see that there is a source directory that has demo1.c and demo1.h. Now what I'm going to do is offline create an Eclipse project for this. So at this point we have set up a project in Eclipse and I can go through, I can build the project, we'll go through it, we'll make the code, and I can actually go into the 
code that's created here and I can run this as a local C++ application like so it prints out hello world now what I want to do is I want to in my case make a change to the code and instead of saying for example in this case hello world what I want to say is hello world all in caps and actually I'm going to yell out hello as well so I'm now yelling hello world instead of just saying it nicely I can then build this project and again execute it like so and we see hello world is now yelled out to all the world here so with this there obviously now are some changes to my working structure if you see here we have a folder called debug that I created we have this folder called default where I have now placed the make file and some other things in there and I have the source code what I would like to do is commit my changed code into the repository so that that change is there but I'd also like to make sure that the code in the make file and other things that actually makes the executable is also up in the repository so I can work with it in the future as far as keeping it there be able to build the project by just checking things out so on and so forth so what I would like to do is go up here to the git GUI and what I need to do is rescan my system so now that I have completed my rescan we can see that there are some files that are different namely this demo 1.h file where I made this change here as well as some files that have been added now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the file that's been changed is staged to be committed so by staging to commit these files what that means is what I'm going to do is I'm placing these files into the staging area here and I'm going to essentially commit them when I do a commit to my local copy of the repository I also want to stage these files that are related to the make file so I'm going to go through and I am going to stage them to the commit as well I'm not going to in my case right now place my dot project files in my environment and I don't want to place my executable into my remote repository just the make files and these other things so these files have now been staged what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a commit message modified printout to be all caps also added make file to repo so these are the changes that have been made to my system and what I'm going to do is I am going to commit them but since I have not used git GUI before it's going to come up with this error message saying it needs to know a little bit about me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some commands git config minus global user dot email and I want to put in my email this is the email that is affiliated with my accounts that I'm working with and I'm going to enter in git config global user dot name which is my name like so I only have to do this once to set up my git tool but I'll have to redo it again if for some reason I reverted my virtual machine back to a base state or this information wasn't in there so now that I've entered those two commands I've set the information there and what I can do is now I can go ahead and commit so the files now have been taken and essentially 
committed to my local repository. What I need to do now is to essentially get them over here to the server, which lives like so. This operation that I'm going to apply here is what we would refer to as a push. So when I push the changes, I want to push my master branch in this case because I don't have any other branches or anything else set up in this repository. I'm going to push this. It's going to ask me again for my login credentials. Like so. And we will see that this has now been pushed out to the remote repository. If I want to verify that it has been pushed and that the changes are there, what I can do is take and start up another instance of get GUI running. And I'm going to clone an existing repository. I want to reclone what I just pushed back to my machine. So we're going to see that. And what I'm going to do is demo replace this in develop, demo development excuse me demo development working cop directory copy like so and it is now cloned and I can explore the working copy we see that there is both this default directory and the source. I can also now, from this, open up a terminal in here and go into default like so. Do a make all. And we can see that now I have the ability to run demo working directory, which is the name of the project that's going to be created from it. And it prints out hello world from the command line console. All right, so at this point, what I have demonstrated to you is essentially the concept of the repository, checking code out, or essentially what we would refer to in the Git terminology, making a clone to the local machine. I've talked about how we can make edits to it after we've brought this into a GUI-based tool. I've talked about how we can then commit those to our local working copy, essentially, and then push them out to our, or com commit them to our local repository, and then push those changes out to the server where others have access to them. All of this has been done using the Git GUI tool, which is part of the Linux installation. That's going to bring this tutorial to a close.